now, Nancy. Shut up! Shut up, shut up! Don't you talk about my mother that way. And don't talk about me that way. I am here. I am in this room. I am, I'm a person. I am not a chair or a... Harry? What is it, baby? Get away from her! You get away from her! Gentlemen? Uh, Dr. Cushing? What's happening to me? Nancy, I'd like you to meet Dr. Loeb. He's here to help you. Dr. Loeb, I'd like you to meet Nancy Archer. My God. Doctor? This is impossible. Well, that certainly takes a load off my mind. I thought I had a problem. 24 hours ago, she was a normal-sized woman. Note the hormone levels. The levels are anomalous, but... They couldn't account for that. I'm not a that. Of course you're not. Look, I don't care what caused it. I just want someone to fix it. We must get her to a controlled therapeutic environment. I have a private clinic. It's very secluded. That's why Harry... Sanitarium? No, I'm staying here. Mrs. Archer. Nancy. Don't you want the security? I'm staying here. Yes, I think home treatment would be less stressful for everyone. And you don't have to worry about the money. Anything you want, you can have. Just ask my father. Go and just move those to the back of the truck, and then I'll pull them off. All right. It's all boilerplate, Nancy. You don't have to look at them. How am I supposed to sign these? We don't have to. You use the paint to sign the cardboard. Then I take your signature and I reduce it and put it on the documents. Now, I've spoken to the lawyers about it, and they tell me that under the circumstances, it's essentially legal. What? Let's blow them up. What? If they can reduce my signature, they can enlarge those contracts. Get a billboard painter or something. I want that fine print six feet tall. Well, I simply will not have the details of my business pasted on the side of a barn for the world to see. Then you better find a new business, because I'm not signing them until I can read them. Uh, well, you've had a long day. I, oh, I'm sure it's been very stressful. Perhaps you ought to... Uh, well, perhaps you ought to go back in the, uh, well, I mean, go back in and rest. I like being out here looking at the stars. Well, of course you do. We all like the stars. They're very pretty. But you have to take care of yourself. You have to... Father, I'm not a little girl. Uh, no. No, you're not. But you need your rest. You have to protect your strength so that the doctors can make you better. You mean make me like I was before? Yes, just as you were before. Now, isn't that what we all want? I'll go back in the stable. Good. In a little while. Well, <clears throat> that'll be fine. Good night, Father. Good night, Nancy. Jesus, she's big. I mean... Come and look at the stars with me.
Are you all right? I mean, do you feel okay otherwise? My heart starts beating faster than normal. Would you like to feel it? No, 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 that's okay. I'll take your word for it. The doctor said it's all right as long as I don't get too worked up. That's an important thing to remember about not getting too worked up. Otherwise, I feel just fine. Right. Well, I guess I'll turn in. Good night, Nancy. I was wondering about something. Wondering about what? About what would happen if I were to tell the sheriff how you took me out to the desert and simply left me there. What do you think people would make of that? That's not what happened. Suppose that's what I tell them happened. Suppose for once people believe me instead of somebody else. You wouldn't do it. I know you too well. You don't have the nerve. Maybe I've changed. Sure you're all right? Go inside. And don't make any plans for dinner tomorrow night. You and I have a lot to discuss. Oh. Will your father be joining you? He has a meeting with the town council. Tonight's just for Harry and me. Do you want to check the position of the truck, make sure it's where you want it? If it isn't, I'll move it myself later. I suppose you could. The world is my dollhouse, Dr. Cushing. Well, you seem to have made a certain adjustment to your condition. I'm not saying the old Nancy still isn't in me. I can hear her inside rattling around in the dark, bumping into things, always apologizing. But less and less, less and less. Uh, they've all gone, Nancy. Would you mind coming outside for a moment? I'm due for a stretch. I'm due for a stretch. <laughs> Can I give you a lift? Uh, no, thank you. How can we grow as women if we can't trust each other? <laughs> Doctor, what are you doing? doing. I am merely taking a... So what's in this amazing colossal spike? Oh, just a vitamin soup with a mineral supplement chaser. <laughs> and? Doctor. Vitamins and minerals, as I said. And? And a very mild tranquilizer. Valium or that stuff they use on racehorses? There's no need for this. Well, I disagree. The situation is difficult enough without running the risk of anxiety on her part. I have the husband's authority and the permission of her father. What about my permission? It's really for your own good, Nancy. You're the one who looks like he's having a little anxiety, Dr. Lowe. Maybe you need this more than me. <laughs> Nancy! I don't like needles. Nice try. Welcome home. Like the outfit? It's something. Well, I have dinner waiting on the rooftop garden. California Chardonnay. Not too pricey when you buy in bulk. Cheers. 
Isn't this romantic? You bet. It's a lovely night. Yeah, a peach. The stars seem so close. Close enough to touch, close enough to hear you whisper. When was the last time you and I sat down like this and had dinner? We've never sat down like this and had dinner. I mean, in general, you and I as a couple. Lots of times. We don't talk enough, Harry. Talking now. No, I mean really talk. This thing that's happened to me, I think that it could bring us closer together if we give it half a chance. Sure, what do you want to talk about? Harry, have you ever thought much about Gulliver's travels? About what? Gulliver's travels. The book, Gulliver's Travels? That's right. I can't say as I have. I have. Quite a bit. I've started to think of myself as Gulliver, suddenly surrounded by all these toys and playthings. And I've begun thinking about the possibilities. Exactly what possibilities are we talking about here? Adventure, Harry. New dimensions, new horizons. Leave the manicurists and the cocktail waitresses down in the foothills, Harry, and look up. You don't want to get rid of me. Who said anything about getting rid of anybody? You don't want me in some sanitarium or a zoo. Think about it, Harry. You'd be the envy of every man alive. There are pleasures waiting for you that no one has even dreamed of. Imagine love on the scale of Gulliver. You're thinking about it. I can tell. Are you crazy? You are crazy! What are you suggesting? Jesus, Nancy, this is sick! Sick? Unnatural and sick and freakish. Who precisely are you calling a freak? You! I'm calling you an immense mistake and an enormous, pathetic freak. I'm trying to share something with you, Harry. I'm trying to save our marriage. By suggesting that you and I... What did you expect me to do? Get a wetsuit and a flashlight? You son of a bitch! <laughs> Just a big joke. If you knew half what Honey Parker knows about being a real woman. Insect. Tick. I offer you a landscape and you cling to a glass doorknob. Honey's better in bed than you ever were. <sighs> She's even better than your cousin Vera. Vera? <laughs> you slept with Vera? Uh -huh. I'll kill her. But first, I'm gonna pop your head like a little Concord grape. Me, the arm of the year for somebody. Is he on something? You have got to believe me. It's her. She's coming. She's coming. It's Mrs. Archer. I can see that. Where's my husband? Uh oh. Evening, Miss Archer. It's good to see you up and about. Where's Harry? Well, don't you worry, Miss Archer. We'll find him for you. I know where he is. He's with that woman. Nancy! Nancy, stop! I'll stop when I find Harry. I'm just looking for a little closure, that's all. Nancy, don't do this. I've tried, Dr. Cushing. I've really tried to be all modern and adult and post-feminist. 
And look what it's gotten me. Well, now I'm taking matters into my own hands. What'll she do if she finds Harry? Ball him up like a used Kleenex. Good. Harry! Everybody get into the squad car. I'm going to call the National Guard and the state police. This is not a good situation. Excuse me. <clears throat> Certainly. Hamilton Cobb. What? Yes. Well, no, that isn't possible. Isn't that your little girl? Harry. For a dead woman, she sounds awful healthy. She's not only alive, she's bigger. What'd you try to do, kill her with a grow light? Shut up! Can't you do anything right? What are you doing? Hey! Somebody around here's got to act like they got balls. Don't be stupid your whole damn life. You're better than they are. You're smarter than they are. And you know more than you think. We all do. Miss me? I don't suppose you want to hear my side of this. What are they going to do to them? What do you think they're going to do? Rick Hamilton, maybe you could talk to her. What's gonna happen, sir? Nothing. At least not until we get past the city limits. Then what, sir? I don't know, Quimby. I just don't know.
Now you got nowhere to go. That's far enough, ma'am. Just put the hostage down and keep your hands up so we can see him. Make me. Doesn't seem right firing an air-to-ground missile at a woman. Don't think of her as a woman. Think of her as a target. That's what I always do. Hold your fire until I give the signal. Here, you talk to her. Me? You're her father. Talk to her. All right, Nancy. I think you've made your point. I want you to stop embarrassing me in front of all these people. How dare you talk to me that way? It's humiliating. You treat me like such a child. If you behaved like an adult, you'd be treated like an adult. Now, let's keep family matters in the family. We'll talk when we get home. You don't care about me. You never cared about me. You just need my name on some paper so you can hide more money. Nancy! That's all you care about? You don't love me. You didn't love my mother. And this town, all you're interested in is how much you can steal from it. You got a gun? Why don't you do something? What? I suppose. Sheriff! Nobody fires until I say fire! We'd all admit to being victims of a very unrealistic and limiting idea of manhood. You're right. That's where all the anger, all the hostility comes from. We've been cut off from the old definitions of masculine and feminine. And that causes the basic insecurity that we all feel as men in the modern world. You can see what I'm saying, can't you? Frankly, in my opinion, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm not hostile, I'm not insecure, and I don't have any problems with my manhood. Never did. So whatever the trouble is, the one thing I do know for sure is, it's not me. But you can recognize the destructive patterns in your life. And you're ready to change, right? Oh, the destructive patterns. <laughs> hey, those destructive patterns can be a real bitch, right? You got, whatever you do, uh, definitely avoid those destructive patterns. I really wish you'd make an effort to participate. These sessions are for your own good. I'm participating? Didn't you just hear me now participating? You just don't get it, do you? Why can't you understand? It's not just me that's changed. It's a whole new universe, Harry. And it's up to you to catch up with us. 
Maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe. I hope so. Otherwise. Otherwise? Try again. Again? Again. Harry, perhaps you'd like to share some of the personal experiences that brought you here. Why don't you mind your own business? You're blocking Harry. Keep your nose out of it too, pal, okay? I think Harry has a lot of shame issues that he needs to work on. I think what Harry needs is a cold beer. That's what Harry needs. Maybe we should do that trust exercise. That'd be a good way to show Harry how we all feel about him. Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me, understand? Harry, I really believe you're putting down that chair would be a good way to start the healing process. Back off! I got him. Let go! <clears throat> Intervention is a sign of love, Harry. Yeah? Well, intervene this. 